I want to get now to another big breaking story in D.C. at this hour. Dozens of firefighters rushed to the scene of a hotel fire in northwest D.C. at F and 9th Streets. Our Nicole D'Antonio joins us now live from the scene with the latest on efforts to get this fire under control and make sure everyone that is inside the high rise is safe. Right, Nicole? Yes, that is their main goal, and they do tell us that everyone was evacuated from the building safely, so that is the good news. But I do want to point out, just over my shoulder, you can see where this fire started. This is up on the sixth floor here at Hotel Riggs. Uh, for perspective, we are just around the corner from Capital One Arena. We're told the fire started in the wall. It started right there on the sixth floor. You can see the flashlight out the window there as firefighters just continue to, uh, you know, just keep a close eye on things inside this building. Now, we know the fire extended from the sixth floor up to the seventh floor. We're also told the smoke extended up through the 10th floor of this hotel. About 20 units impacted on all of this. And as you mentioned, a very active scene out here. About 100 personnel responded to this fire. Thankfully, we're told that no one was injured. And we do have, uh, you know, sound from one of the spokespeople here on the scene. Here's what DC Fire and EMS uh, Rescue said about the fire. Take a look. The fire appears to be confined. We continue to check to see if um, there is any extension, uh, but also because this is an occupied hotel, we're conducting a full search of the entire hotel. Now, I do want to mention this is actually the second fire to happen in this area overnight. There was another fire in the same block of 9th and F Street around 2 in the morning. Uh, they don't believe there was any sort of connection, but of course, we will continue to follow all of this. Again, a really active scene. About 100 people out here responding to this fire. Thankfully, no one was injured. Guys, we'll send things back inside to you, and of course, we will continue to keep a close eye on this.